Hey y'all, it is such an exciting day over here. I wanna thank you guys for all of your love and support on our announcement this morning about our new family business, White Buffalo Homes. It has been a decade in the making, you guys. If you've been around here for any length of time, then you may have watched the Our Story video series I did, or you may have caught a glimpse of the adventure we've been on, which is that we've spent the last 10 years renovating houses to pay off our student debt. 10 years ago, we were newlyweds, living in a foreclosure, we fell in love with renovating it because we had to, it was all we could afford. But we, and we had this vision for what we felt like God had put us on for where we wanted to head as a family. But we were buried under a mountain of student debt and did not see a way out. But as God always does, he took that hopeless place that we were and channeled it into this life of adventure. He took our hopeless spot and literally gave us a hope of a future. And that's what he does. It's so beautiful. And we've seen him do that over and over. Um, but for us, we launched into the adventure of renovating to pay off debt. I don't have time to like rehash all the details of that story today. But if you haven't watched that and you want to hear the backstory, it's linked in my stories today. I'll also link it in the caption of this video because it's a long one, but it is a really good one. Um, and we have, we have just been blown away by all that God has done in our family's adventure. And so even 10 years ago, we fell in love with renovating. We had dreams for it. We wanted to get out of that debt and we had dreams for things we hoped would be possible and that God would do when that debt was paid off. And one of those was White Buffalo Homes. And we loved renovating and we thought, Lord, how cool would it be if one day we got to do this together all the time? And we could already see glimpses of how that could fit with the freer life that we envisioned as a family. We felt like God had given us this vision of time freedom, not never having to work, but being able to work on your own terms so that we had more time as a family, that we could travel, we could live a life of adventure. Um, together and that's really the dream that was born in our heart 10 years 10 years ago that's still there so I've shared this with you guys before but I want to re-mention it today because it truly is the foundation for this business for us we have a family mission statement that we wrote five years ago when Rosie was a baby and it has three points and it is we prayed a lot about it and we felt like this is what God was telling our family uniquely that when our kids leave our house one day, this is what we want to take with them. This is what we hope that we have instilled in them before they leave our home and what that they then contribute to the world. And the first point of that is to wonder at God's creation. Y'all know that nature and all that God created is a really big deal to us. And we believe that you get to know the character of God through enjoying his creation. The second of those is to have a passion for the world and its people. We believe God created all people and we want our children to have a deep love for all cultures, all races, and see them all as the equal children of God that they are. And the third point of that was we wanted our children to understand and celebrate God's big story and their unique place in it. We believe that obviously God is writing this beautiful gospel story that goes throughout time, but we believe that as his children, he has gifted, equipped, and called each of us to a very specific part of that story. And our goal as parents is to recognize interests and gifts in our children, to help steward and foster them as they grow, to hopefully one day be used for kingdom purposes, to be used for their income, for ministry, um, for living the life God called them to live because we've seen him do that over and over. We've seen that he gives us gifts for a very specific purpose and reason. And we've seen that play out in ourselves as y'all have watched over these last 10 years. Gifts that we didn't even know we had when we got married 10 years ago have bonded us together, have made our marriage stronger, have paid off our debt, have increased our faith, and then now are giving birth to this new business. Um, and we're just, we just are so excited about that. So over the last 10 years, we have continued to dream about this business. There's been many times when we thought it's time to take the leap. It's time to go. Um, but Chris, while I talk about him as a risk taker and super adventurous and an entrepreneur and a visionary, he is all of those things. I've never met anybody like him. Um, but he's also cautious and he also is wise and calculated. And so all the times before that we thought now is the time. He always had a little catch in his spirit, like, but is it? 
And for years we thought, okay, is that just fear because this is a big risk or is that God saying now is not the time? And every time God would make it clear, not yet. But the dream never went away. He only grew it in our hearts. And we only felt more and more called to the future we envision for our family that that is the path he's given us to get there. Um, so we continued just waiting, like, Lord, you're going to show us when it's the right time. And early this, maybe spring, summer, sometime in the midst of the pandemic, things started to shift. And I could see a huge change in Chris. When he talked about this, it was with absolute confidence. This is what God had for us. And with an assurance that we need to be working toward this. And so I asked him like, what has changed? Like, I see such a difference in you that like catching your spirit is gone. What has changed? And I, as long as I live, I'm never gonna forget what he said. He said, Lindsay, God has been showing me that one day with what our goals are for parenting and our children, one day I'm gonna look at our kids and I'm gonna say, whatever that thing is that lights you up, that lights your soul on fire, do it take the risk, take the leap, go after that because God put that there for a purpose. And he said, I can't tell our kids to do that one day if I was never willing to do that myself. And I just loved it. And that gave us complete confidence that this was the right path for our family. And so we felt God taking the worry um, and the fear away and really making it firmer in our hearts. But we just said, Lord, just show us like when it's your time. Was one weekend in July where we felt all week we'd been talking about it every night. Like, yep, we got we to gotta do this. We got to work toward it. Let's just see what God does. And then in one weekend, without ever announcing we were doing anything, enough people reached out to us. There was a flip opportunity. There were several renovation opportunities that gave us enough work to last us until the next year. And so within a matter of two days, we were like, okay, it's time. And it's still, while that may not always be the case, I'm not saying there will never be dry times. I do believe God will always provide one way or another because we've seen that that's who he is and what he does. But he used the provision of work before we ever announced anything um, to make it very clear that this was the time for our family. Okay, I wanna take just a minute and share what this is gonna look like for us. So we're located in Greenville, South Carolina. We are going to be focusing mainly on flips, so renovating old houses to sell, but we're also gonna be hopefully doing some new builds because we're super passionate about that after doing this one. There will be room for some large scale reno projects. We have a few of those this fall that we're really excited about. And I can't wait to share all these projects with you as it unfolds. But our day to day, I am going to be designing the flips and the projects. And I'm gonna still be taking the lead at home, homeschooling our kids. But our goal is that over time, Chris has more flexibility during the week and is able to be home and more of a part of some of that with us. He will be acting as the contractor on these projects, doing some of the work himself, but also managing and running the projects. So we have a lot of ideas for where we hope this takes us in the future. I have to talk a minute about passive income. I've shared that with you guys before, but that's one of our big goals with the future of White Buffalo Homes is doing rentals and Airbnbs and things that'll be super fun, but we'll also build in passive income for our family because as I've shared, passive income means time freedom. And time freedom is our ultimate goal, to be able to still work really hard at something we're passionate about, but to have freedom to travel, to adventure, to do ministry, whatever God has ahead. I wanted to say quickly and end with this, that the reason that I've always felt called to share our story all of these 10 years and that I still feel called to do that is not because I think any of you out there should be doing what we're doing or that I think we're that awesome, pat myself on the back. It's that God has done an incredible work in our family. He has given us gifts. He has equipped us for a specific purpose and walking in that purpose with doubt and unfaithfully plenty of times, but walking in that purpose has been freeing for us and we see him moving in huge ways. And so I just like we tell our kids, I hope that this video inspires you guys to look at your own life and heart and soul and be like, what lights me up? What passions and gifts did God put there? And start praying and actively seeking like, Lord, what kingdom purpose do you want these gifts and talents to be a part of? Because friends, I've seen it in our life. I've seen it in many others' lives. He didn't put the there by accident. He put them there for a very specific purpose. And I hope that in sharing our story, you're inspired to seek out your own version of 
unique gifts leading you toward kingdom purpose and a life filled with adventure.